this is Adam from Mikanto Reviews, and as promised today, I have my second product demo of Ad Respark by Devin Zander. Basically, today, uh, now that I'm a little more familiar with this software and I have published my review, um, this this demo should go by a bit quicker. And um, and and yesterday's review, I basically created this set of banners here. Uh, and the way Usine 2 works is you create one banner, so I created this one, and then these were automatically created, and then some others that are not pictured, but you will see in a second. Now, I started with this template to create these, so that kind of shows you how much freedom you have to really change any logo template that comes with Usine 2, and re that's regardless of... Um, your graphic design skill, uh, whether you've ever used something like Photoshop before, it does not matter one bit. Um, I will tell you right now, I'm the type of person who in the past uh, would hire others to create my logos. And uh, in fact, like this one here, uh, minus the stuff at the bottom was created by someone on Fiverr. Um, you know, things like that. So, you know, it, it with with the release of Ad Respark and Usine 2, I'm sorry, did I say that I created this with Usine 2? No, uh, actually, I used the Usine 2 logo, but I used Ad Respark to create this, so I'm sorry about that. But with um, this week, we've we've seen Usine 2 and Ad Respark come out, and with these two products combined, I feel like I have uh, I'm fully capable of being able to create my own graphics and ads without ever having to rely on a freelancer or anyone else to do. So here we are inside of Addery Spark. Um, very nice interface, very clean and professional. Um, as you can see, we have a few sections here. We have our support area, which comes in handy if should you ever need it or get stuck. Uh, the background removal tool I demoed in my last video. Uh, this is really cool as well, basically let's say I was to select this template right here uh, basically I could cut this man out from the background or and I, I could cut him out from the background and uh, you know just use the image of the man uh, and put him in front of any other background that I wish uh, that was pretty fun and easy to do um, I know that anyone that knows someone or that has used Photoshop or if you've used Photoshop yourself you know that you can do that with Photoshop as well but this gives us uh, everyone else who might not be knowledgeable about Photoshop it gives us the ability to do the same which is very nice so today I'm gonna go ahead and select a different template and just kinda play play around with that and um, and one thing to point out about all of these templates is that they were um, loaded into the program and they are based on proven templates that have been proven to work um, and and generate positive returns on investment so keep that in mind these are based on winning formulas so let me pause for a moment as I figure out which one I would like to choose from our options here. Alright, I think I'm going to use this one here. Right now it's um, geared at a chef ebook. But what I want to show you is that it doesn't matter what niche you see the ad uh, created for right now because we can change that. Another thing I want to show you is notice how this ad looks right now. Now remember, you edit this ad and you're going to get a complete set of ads that you can use on, on uh, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, you know, all, at, all cut on your website, wherever you want. And basically if we go through this drop down, you'll see how these ads work. Basically you design one of them and look at that all of them adjust beautifully to each ad in your complete set right here. So you get a complete set of ads just by editing one of them. Okay, this one doesn't have a Pinterest uh, or Twitter or Instagram, but we have all of the standard banner, sides, banner sizes here. Okay. 
so let's go up to the timeline ad. This is the one that we are going to work from. We don't have to, by the way. We could work from any of these. The first thing I'm going to do is change the logo. So I'm going to come over here, edit graphics, and then just come over to the logo, upload, find them on my hard drive. <clears throat> Here's the logo I want to use. It's already transparent. However, it's really small. So I'm going to resize it. And right now you'll notice that that the logo doesn't, oops, I want to undo that. The lo But right now the logo doesn't really work with um, um, the background because the colors don't mesh. And that's something that we can fix. Okay. So I'm going to leave it there for the time being. The other thing I want to do is change this image and instead of this image I want my own image so I'm going to click come over to image upload and I don't have to remove this because this is going to automatically overwrite the current image there so there we have it simply resize this a little bit to our liking and that's looking good for now alright so now we've already changed this chef product to an e-com product. Now we still have that chef background, but we're going to work on that. In fact, let's deal with that right now. So you would come over here to choose background image. Now we can search free stock. So I'm going to go ahead and type in e-commerce and see what happens just for fun. I mean, we could type anything here, but I just want to see what it comes up with. Looks like nothing going for e-commerce. So technology. Once again, we're going to get some images here. So this this one would work, I think. Um, we have an issue with with the color contrast, but I believe this is actually something that we can fix by playing with the um, lighting of our background image, which is another thing that you can indeed do with Add Respark. But um, let's kind of go through here. A lot of pictures of watches that we have here. Um, what I want to find one is I, I want to find one that I like, but that it, but one one that I like but does not work with our current background or with our current logo. Just to kind of show you how we can adjust these backgrounds. Should you find one that you like and you're thinking, well, you know, I can't use it because of my logo. Um, well we're going to make sure there's a workaround for that. So let's say that we wanted to use this one right now. It kind of does and kind of doesn't show up, especially here in the middle. It's kind of hard to see. Um, oh, so let's come over to edit background image. And as you can see, there's just two sliders. So this is, you know, not overwhelming. It's something that I think anyone can really work with. The first thing you have is an overlay color. So what this does is kind of gives it its own glow. If it Should you want to do that. I mean that's one thing that you could do to kind of customize your ad and make it your own and I'm sure there's some overlay colors that like if I made it blue for instance it's easier to read <clears throat> my logo so there's certain colors that you could use to make your logo stand out depending on the color of your logo but I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to leave it as white and I'm going to change the opacity. Okay. So obviously that's not helping us. So, or I guess it is actually if we left it at something like that. Well, let's try to change the brightness instead. What we want to do is just come up with a happy medium, as they say. So that could work, for instance. That's one way of using um, a, a background of our choice. And you could keep playing with this. Um, this is one way of doing it. You can also even make your logo a little larger. So no, no crime against doing that. Sorry about these pop-ups. That's because I'm recording. And uh, my system, my uh, computer is not one of the best you've ever seen. 
So here, here's one way of making it stand out more. You just make that logo bigger. We can even make this bigger down here if we want. Let's see. Move our call to action over a little bit. And we can make that a little bigger. Stand out a little more. This gets a little smaller. Comes over to the right a little more. This gets centered. Again, you know, you just keep on playing with it until it, it looks right to you. But anyway, this is one way that we could make it work with any background that we want. You just change the coat, the lighting of your background. Um, you could give it an overlay as we saw. What, I, what would happen if, so if, yeah, if we did a black overlay, we just lose everything. But, you know, you have your options, basically. That, that's the point here. So so that's so once we've created uh, and designed our first banner, then all of the others down here are automatically designed for us. Sometimes things might not align properly um, in the first run, and you can adjust those as needed very easily it's just a matter of clicking on the element and dragging it one way or the other or moving it around or whatever resizing it all right so let's go ahead and come down the list facebook ppe ad uh, as you can see um the opacity is is back to normal here so if you want to change it just do that just do what you did on the first one Again, I, I'm happy with how this is aligned, but if you see anything where you want to, for example, slightly resize an element like I'm doing here, that's all you have to do. But just notice how cool it is. I mean, it just takes those all of, all of those individual elements, just places them in the correct position for this particular banner style. Again, I'm going to make this just a little shorter. just seems like it's stretched a little too much drag it to the center again sorry about the pop-up here is our square ad this one is looking good to me um, maybe I'll just change once again change that for us so that our logo is more readable come down here same thing here we're gonna do this okay um, that logo a tad bit larger as well um, everything else looks good this one we're gonna do that I'm gonna do that move these over just a tad bit then we have our standard 468 by 60 banner just like that I'll do this as well. There you go. And I'd like to remind you. Here's another one. Let's fix this one up real quick. So we have ourselves a complete set of ads to use for all kinds of different purposes, depending on the website, the ad space. But just to remind you here, now we started, and I saved this in another window, we started with this. This is what we started with. And we went from that completely different ad and came out of it with this. So now we want to... Let me actually do one more thing here. I want to change that just a little, make it a little less bright. Okay, so now we're going to come over to save and export, and I'm going to give it a name first and say uh, ecom sub pro. I'm going to save this template, and then give it a moment to save and then we want to export our set of banners 
into its own folder. Copy this path. Okay, and then I'm, now I'm going to show you that on my hard drive. Here are all of my banners. A complete set, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight banners. Each one of them is named by its exact dimensions. If we open them up in uh, Photo Viewer, you can see how they look individually. And I'll also show you the uh, ads that I created yesterday real quick. That was right here. Here is the set that I created yesterday. I actually kind of like this one a little more. Um, but I would change the text color here. to something like that. I would just play around till I came up with the right color, I guess. That could work. But anyways, this was my, um, let's come over here. This was the uh, set of ads that I created yesterday. If I could find where it was saved. Or I'll just go through them like this. So there's the web rectangle, PPE, you know, so there's so many different things you can do. And once again, I'll give you a look at all of the different templates there are to choose from. And there they are. And I know that, you know, by the way, that that was not the best looking ad that I created just then but my purpose was really just to show you the product itself um, and we were just playing around with it of course um, you know you can truly make refined ads that are very uh, visual ap visually appealing as well if I was to want to create an ad that would actually go live on YouTube for instance and I may actually keep the background that's in the template and just simply change the wording to um, fit uh, whatever it is I'm promoting. But that's about it. Uh, if you want to see the background removal tool in action, I would encourage you to watch uh, the first demo of Addery Spark. I have uh, linked it in the description below. Speaking of the description below also, uh, I have a link directly below this video in the top of the description below, and that goes to my Ad Respark review page. On this page, if you scroll down a bit, and should you decide to purchase Ad Respark through my page, not only would I be truly grateful for that, but you would also receive all of these bonuses shown. And as you can see, uh, the values listed next to some of them when I uh, when they are known are the true value of that product when it was uh, available for sale instant traffic hacks that was a hundred ninety seven dollar product when it came out uh, prepare for viral traffic hundred ninety nine dollar course uh, essential copyright templates hundred twenty nine dollars all yours all of these are yours absolutely free when you purchase ad respark through my page these are not available anywhere else. You also have the right to um, substitute any of the bonuses shown here with other items from my complete master list. So that is all we have. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you enjoy this video. And thank you so much for watching and taking your time today to watch my ad respark demo.